we're going to learn a little bit of the bell boogie. It's got a intro, just eighth notes of an E string. Okay. Next part is some like. That seems to be one of the main riffs. To do that, you have to have your index finger uh, anchored at the second fret of the fifth string. That's a B note. So you got these two notes right here. So leave that finger there if you can. It's going to go. So you got open, open, and then a three, four, two, two, four, two, five, five. Four, five, four, two, three, four. Let's do that again. Open, open, three, four, two, two, four, two, five, five. Four five, four two, three four. So you got you have to use four fingers, and they have to be strong. So you have to get get used to using the four fingers because if sometimes people will learn something like. That's just too much movement, too much kind of jumping around, um, which, you know, maybe this finger's strong, but you have to get them all strong. And to answer one more little question, what are the bell sounds? Bell sounds are harmonics. That's where you place your finger right over the 12th fret on the skinny string, the high E, on top of the fret, not between them like when you're fretting. And you do not press, you only touch it. And you can remove your hand, and it's still it's an overtone because you're getting the same measurement from the nut to the 12th fret, from the 12th fret to the bridge. So it's kind of like a exact same same measurement from here to there. It's right in the middle, and it just mathematically adds up to an overtone. So if you're not exactly on top of the fret, you get dead sounds. So to be on the fret, you get the overtone. That's the bell. And I think there's something at the seven and maybe a five. Those are the best bell tones for harmonics. 12, seven, and five. And I think it does like on the first string, second string, first string. A little bit of that. So I'm gonna give you just a little start. If you want more, I'll do a little more. Thanks.